Welcome back to Pope Mrs. Channel. In this video, we will guide you through the setup process for the Pope LBN 3.6 M 24 volt all in one solar inverter. First, press the enter key to access the setup menu. Setting zero allows you to confirm the factory reset. Select the GOE to restore factory setting with one click. Setting 1 lets you prioritize the power source for output. The SUB option is for solar priority mode, where solar power is the primary source for load supplied. If solar power is insufficient for all connecting loads, the system will switch to grid power. Why the battery is only used if both solar and grid power are unavailable, or if solar is insufficient and grid power cannot be used as the backup. The SPU option is for inverter priority mode, where the solar power is the primary source for the load supply, and the battery will supplement solar power if necessary. Grid power is only used when the battery voltage drops below the low voltage warning level or the voltage set in setting 12. The USB option prioritizes grid power, using it as a primary source for load supply. With solar and battery power only used when the grid is unavailable. Setting 2 configures the maximum charging current, which includes both grid and solar charging current. The maximum charging current should be set according to the battery specification provided in the battery menu. Setting 3 adjusts AC input voltage range. This model supports a voltage range of 90 to 150 volts, allowing it to handle virus input voltage scenarios and enhancing the inverter's versatility. Setting 5 lets you choose the battery type. Options include AGM batteries, fluid lead C batteries, cousin lead C batteries, Cotton lithium batteries and the three lithium battery BMS communication options, which is LIC, LIP, and LIL. Setting 6 enables or disabled overload auto restart function. Setting 7 enables or disabled over temperature auto restart function. Setting 9 configures the alpha frequency. Setting 10 sets the output voltage. Both output voltage and frequency should be configured according to the power requirement of the connected loads. Setting 11 determines the maximum grade charging current, which should be less than or equal to maximum charging current set in setting 2. Setting 12 specifies the voltage at which the priority power source switches to grid power when the priority mode in setting 1 is set to SBU or SUB. Setting 13 complements setting 12 by specifying the voltage at which the priority power source switches to battery power when the priority mode in setting 1 is set to SBU or SUB. Setting 16 prioritize the charging source with the SNU option allowing solar and grid power to simultaneously charge the battery, OSO using only solar power, and the CSO prioritizing solar power with grid power as a backup when solar power is unavailable. Setting 18 enables or disables the buzzer alarm function. Setting 19 enables or disables auto return to the main screen, where selecting ESP will cause the inverter to automatically return to the main screen after 1 minute of no button activity. Setting 20 controls the backlight function. Setting 22 targets the buzzer alert when the power source is switched. Setting 23 enables or disables bypass mode during overload. When enabled, the inverter will automatically switch to grid power during overload conditions in battery mode, allowing the grid to carry the load. Setting 25 enables or disables fault code recording. When enabled, the inverter will automatically save fault codes, which can be viewed through the upper computer or a remote monitoring app. 
Setting 26 suggests the boost charging voltage. Setting 27 configures the flow charging voltage. Setting 29 sets the low voltage cutoff value. Setting 30 enables or disables the battery equalization function. Setting 31 defines the battery equalization voltage. Setting 33 configures the duration of battery equalization. Setting 34 has the battery equalization delay. This option allows the inverter to extend equalization charging time if the battery voltage has not reached the equalization voltage set in setting 31, after the duration set in setting 33. After the extension period, the inverter will terminate equalization even if the battery voltage hasn't reached the equalization voltage. Setting 35 says the interval for equalization charging with the default being every 30 days. Setting 36 immediately starts or stops the equalization function. Setting 37 configures the off-grid or grid time mode with off-grid as the default. In off-grid mode, solar power is prioritized for load supply, followed by battery charging. In hybrid mode, solar power is prioritized for load supply, followed by the battery charging, with excess power fed into the grid. Setting 38 configures the grid type current. Please note that grid type operation must strictly adhere to local regulations. Setting 39 enables or disables the LED lights. Setting 41 enables or disables the dual output function. Setting 42 configures the voltage at which dual output is disabled. When the battery voltage reaches this level, the inverter will stop the main output to ensure stable power for the second output line. That concludes the setup process for the Po LVN 3.6 and 24 volt all in one solar inverter. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.